I am coming to you from Auckland, New Zealand, and this is a podcast all about knitting, spinning, and dyeing. Today we're going to focus on that. I'm very happy that you are here with me today, and if you enjoy this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe and hit the bell so that you get notifications of the other videos that you see. So today we're going to talk about dyeing walls, knitting, and other fun craft related art um, fiber related stuff so come along with me today I'm coming to you from a place in Auckland where we're going to do some dyeing it's a dyeing workshop we're gonna dye some silk yarn over dye some yarn and wonderful Annette is going to teach us how to do that and right now we are setting up the tables and we are going to pre-soak the yarn and get the dyes ready and it's just so lovely. I'm going to show you what is in the kit, like the silk and everything in a minute. workshop is about to start. We have just pre-soaked all our wool and fiber and some gorgeous locks and some other already dyed wool which we are going to over dye and it's all in the buckets and little containers and it's exciting. We are going to start soon. Yeah, sorcery. Okay, do we need to chant something? <laughs> <laughs> right, okay, drop ladies, all drop straight in. Everybody let go. Let go, let go, let go, let go. Fingers are up. And that's it, it's done. And you can see it's all running clear because it was hot. And we're not going to felt them because they were yarn. So now I'm going to run outside without with dripping hot water and not burn anybody. Oh, lovely. <laughs> no running me. I can't say the word. I say translucent. And translucent to me sort of 
I think I've just made up a word that describes what we've done rather than reading the word on the colour of the and it's a terry one. It's, it's a very, but you've got solid blacks. This is not a solid black. Um, it's, it's, it's a good black for um, mixing with other colours. You, you'll ne never get a solid black with it. You'll probably get a bit of a grey. Nice colours in there. But, for, like, and things. when skeins... just come back from the Diana workshop where we were from from 9 o'clock until 4 p.m. and uh, I made a little bit of videos but I didn't have time once actually the whole thing started because I had something in the crock pot then I had something that had to be done quickly so that when the crock pots finished I would have to put it into there and yeah I'm home now and while my baby's sleeping I wanted to show you all of the fun things that I've made and probably I'll make another video once they're dried up so we can see when what it looks like when it's dry. So one handy tip for me was to mark everything that I had with this purple paper clip so everybody knew that it was mine and I went crazy on this one with black and I don't know how it will look, but I don't know if I'm too happy about it or not too happy. <laughs> I don't know. That's one. Then uh, I have this gorgeous uh, rovings. And they are very similar in color. Only this one has this gorgeous pink and this is another four ply like this one and I had some nice pink and green and avocado green yeah and some gray all over it then I have this um. <laughs> Excuse all the recycling. And then I have this silk scarf. Huh? We do it. So this gorgeous gray is the platinum color. And I see that it has been contaminated by some other colors here. And I dyed up enough for a sweater. I'm thinking about a floozy too, maybe? A little bit of blue in here. Well, it was bound to happen. And this, if I had used a bit more dye, would have turned from uh, this um, bright orange into some gold. I also have this silk locks, this silver locks that we dyed in hot water and um, because it was hot water so it took up the dye almost immediately but as Annette was saying there is still lots of white in it. So I have some more silk somewhere here, or what was in here? Oh, this is a rainbow skein that we over dyed with some dark. It was really bright colors, but now it's all nice and muted. And this is a rose that I'm growing. So pretty. So I'm gonna take this off now. And I've taken a picture and dry them. <laughs> 